Alright buddy, this is it. First one. You ready? Let's do it. Judy, I'm out of razors. the last of the toothpaste. Okay, thanks. Kids, we gotta go, come on. This is gonna be here soon. Yep. Get your backpacks, let's go. Come on. Okay, I'll stop by the hotel. You want me to try and get my job back? What about Haley? Maybe it's Todd. Morning, boss. Are you ready to make a sale today? I'm always ready to make a sale. Well, I hope so. I've already primed this guy. He needs insurance. He wants insurance. My kind of prospect. I told him you would need to collect a check today. He had no problem with it. I will get that check, I promise. I'll text you the information. Great. We'll talk to you later. Hey, it was Todd. Yeah. He's got a guy ready to buy. All I gotta do is get the check. All we need is one sale. You can do this. I know you can. Yes. Yeah. I'm out of here. Come on, Daddy. Say bye to Daddy. Love you. Have a nice day. I'd buy my little gift from God. Say bye, Daddy.
Well, you're fired. You can contact HR for your separation paperwork. Pleasure making your acquaintance, and uh, hopefully I see you around here sometime. Please give me your keys. Let me drive you home. 
No. I've got a room at the hotel next door. I can't go home. For all I know, he has a girl there. Thanks. to share with me and I have something to share with you oh, really I'll take it you got a scholarship offer too maybe okay guys thank you ma'am I got a scholarship offer for cheerleading at Adams Adams really that incredible. So what about you? Is it for football? Yes. Yes. At Adams. What? <laughs> Living life as full as you can. Oh, Grabbing okay. everybody by the hand. Let's get to work. Don't wanna let go. Tell yourself you don't need no lies Sleeping away all your alibis Sit back and let go And there's a uh, have to come clean. Okay. I've uh, I've known about my scholarship for weeks. Your dad told me that <clears throat> he told me that there would be a, a good chance that you got an offer from Adams. When did you talk to my dad? Last night, in a horrific accident, two honor roll students from a local high school were killed by the woman next door. Richie Allen and Dawn Johnson were around her home, and according to her parents, the young man was proposing to the young lady. Debbie Edwards, wife of thoracic surgeon Dave Edwards, was driving intoxicated. She was booked and arrested for vehicular homicide. Edwards was unharmed in the incident. Allen was an all-state quarterback, and he had a scholarship to Adams College for football. Johnson also had a scholarship to Adams for cheerleading. This is Carolyn Lyons reporting for Action News.
dead. There's a cross. Yeah, not that one. It's not safe here. What do you mean, not that one? God said the first three crosses. That's the third one. We have to go see it. It's just, it's not safe. What are you talking about? God said the first three crosses. Not the first three white people crosses. All right, I understand that, but... No buts! All right, it's fine. Oh. You have to give this one equal chance. But there's a female at the club last night, huh, bro? Check this out, check this out. Who the, who the white boy is right here, man, coming over here, man? Hey, man, put that away, man, put that away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you on that, but you know, man. So, but y'all know the t-shirt? Man, you need to, like, move around from over here. For real, dog. I can see they paying their respects, but, man, they got to hurry up and do that and get around here. Yeah, I understand. You trying to understand. You trying to get in there specs in and stuff like that. But, man, you know what we do back here, man? We don't rock like all that stuff. This morning, Tiffany went to see the school nurse. Um, she noticed some vaginal bleeding and bruising. It appeared to the nurse that her hymen had been broken. So what are you trying to say? Um, it seems that Tiffany is being sexually assaulted. Mm -hmm. I know you were having sex with her. I was having sex with him. My boyfriend got around. Excuse me? Me and Tyrell was doing it one night when Tiffany crawled in bed. I told Tiffany to go back to bed, but Tyrell said let her stay. He was on top of me, and then I look over, and he's got his hand in her nightgown. I said, Tyrell, I said, what you doing? And you told me to shut the hell up. Miss Jones, what did you do? What you think I did? I shut the hell up. She didn't cry. She didn't scream. She just lay there and she let my man have her. And I would beg him to make love to me. But after that, he didn't want me no more. How do you think that make me feel, huh? Miss Jones, you've got to realize... You need to realize that I need to get my man back or I'm not going to have no one. You've got to realize we've got to alert the authorities. He's a good man. And he's a good father. You just need to mind your own business. Who do you think you is anyway? She's my child, not yours. Tyrell is going to jail, and in all likelihood, Child Protective Services will be taking tickets. So you're telling me you're going to take my man and my child? Both of you can go to hell.
tell me about the first time. Well, it was a man, a father, with four kids, I get it. My choice is clear. I was a jerk, going through some kind of midlife crisis, I don't know, but I told her it's over. I never stopped loving her. I just had to go through something really stupid to figure that out. What did sick? No, I meant everything I said. No, I mean, I'm gonna be sick. I have a room in the hotel. We talk about this tomorrow. So many people who die and deserve to live On nights like these I don't
you come 